Day 26 of Mini Mike. <laughs> We're matching. We're twinsies. All, all the way down to the shoes, basically. No, literally. <laughs> like, that's silly. You know, huh. Make a, you look like a type of person who comment about me. You look like the type of person who likes women. You look like the type of person that likes frogs. Where's your straight white man? Where's your straight white man? Where's your straight white man? Where is he? Find him. He's missing in action. You look like the type of person who gets really, really excited at like TJ Maxx. <laughs> you look like the type of person in second grade to like collect all like those stickers and instead of just asking people if they wanted a sticker, you'd be like, take this sticker. <laughs> you also look like the type of person to like try to dress all fuzzy and then like as soon as it gets to be warm, you complain about your clothing. You're like, this is ridiculous. Like, if you were like a teacher when you're older, you seem like the type of person that'd be really, really strict about the weather. Oh, like, what? like the clothes that you wear would have to match the what? Oh. <laughs> the clothes you would have to match the weather, and the better like, as soon as something didn't match what you wanted for the day, you would be like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> What's the last text message you sent? So there's two. One of them is to Maddie, and it says, "My bus is wet." This is horrible. Um, the last text message I received was from my best friend, and it says, I'm at that point of sickness that images move. Oh, Angie, do you want the mic? What's the last text message you sent? Uh, it was him. Where are you? <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Stack reference. Mr. Stack. <laughs> it's literally him. Why'd you capture him <laughs> like a Pokemon? Oh my god, <laughs> What's the last text message you sent? It was, um to Alexis and I said don't text or call me. The last text message that I sent was a picture with some text at 621 and it was I woke up with a, a curly strand mm -hmm. going straight up and I said what the fuck is this? I have a little strand of hair that just wants to curl into the fucking sky. <laughs> Said picture. <laughs> the last text message I sent was love you too to my mom and my brother. Um, I think happy birthday. Who? Whose birthday, birthday is it? Uh, happy birthday, Seamus's friend of his. Happy birthday to you. Ha happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Seamus's friend. Happy birthday to you and many more. Uh, you look like the kind of person to interrogate people with a phone and a microphone every day. It's so cute. When I came downstairs this morning, my mom told me I look very sporty today, which is so fucking mean for no reason. All right, so no reason. toss me a question, brother. You look like the type of person who uh, is currently struggling in their English class to get the essay done. Do you want to know what I look like? A person who's currently struggling in their English class to get the essay done. <laughs> Do, do what? Do what? Da ba do what? Da ba do what? Da ba do what? Da ba do do what? Da ba do what? You're a bar early. It just says I've been a total mess this morning, which is true and accurate. You don't have a third question. I, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna turn the tables. I have a question for you. If you could, if you could have any job in the world, what job would you have? French teacher. What about Spanish? Yo no sé. We have TV first period, which is great. But I have to be interested with Mr. Darn Hopeless today, which is... Hmm? And I need to submit my service over, and I don't know how that works. And I can't submit my comment because I didn't take the writing portion of the SAT, but it won't let me submit it without the writing portion score. But I didn't take the writing portion. I don't have a score. I don't have a score for the writing portion that I didn't take. Solidarity. And I need John Aloisi to submit my letter of recommendation. John, John if you're out there, John, what's up, brother? Do you not have Mr. Aloisi? Not, not well. this year. I love John. Last year. <laughs> I know last year. He's my guy. <laughs> he he literally stopped me in the hallway yesterday and was like, I I, did, I heard you commentated with the football game and I'm like, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, and he's like, I didn't watch it but my parents do, and they the men that usually commentated are really boring and they wanted me to tell the students that they did a very good job the students and i was like job. your mom watched that your mom watched me they talk about very, Airbud. hello but can i can i help you what's the last text message you sent hold on <laughs> <laughs> okay back to me fair. no fair i said ah fair okay boring <laughs> you're boring sydney sydney you look like the type of person that walks into chick-fil-a 
and just get scared. That just gets scared. <laughs> so last night I had a dream that I was going to go to gym class, but it turns out the gym class was outside, and instead of like gym class, it was some kind of event, like kind of like the spirit rally outside. I don't know what was going on. Anyway, so I go outside, and I'm like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. So I asked like the person like guarding the door to get back in. I'm like, oh, can I go to the bathroom? And she's like, N we have to go outside, like in the outside ones. And I'm like, okay. So, yeah. so I'm expecting like, you know, the normal outside bathroom. So I'm walking out there. I can't find it. I asked Mr. G. I'm like, where is the bathroom? And he gives me directions. I still can't find it. Eventually, I get, end up in it. I guess I teleport. I don't know. And it is literally this like weird little shed. And it's like a pretty big for a shed, though. And there's just multiple buckets. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no dividers. Oh my god. And so there's just a bunch of students like leaning over buckets. Just like pissing. <laughs> and I was like, this isn't okay. Oh my god. I mean like I wasn't so obviously that's crazy, but in the dream I was just kinda like, yeah, this is SHS. Yeah, it's Um, so I think I peed in a bucket. Um and then I left and then at some point I was Greg Heavily. <laughs> this was after I peed in a bucket. <laughs> And then Roderick was there, and he was trying to like prank me, but like he was copying someone else's prank, and I had already seen the prank happen, and so I told him that, and he got pissed off. And then he had to shit, and so he made the two of his friends bring him to the t like buckets, and and they held him over the bucket. <laughs> well, someone had the back, someone at the front. Oh, okay. Um, and then at some point, I think I was shitting in a bucket, <laughs> and then I had to run to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had to go, like, shower at, like, my friend's house, but she was in her, she was in there in the shower, and I almost, I don't know, it was odd. Uh, you know those, like, you look like the type of person who comments? Yeah. Make one about me. You look like the person who gets too emotionally attached to teachers. Has, has Seamus answered the question? Yeah, Seamus gave me one. Do one about me. The... Um. You look like the type of person to kill someone and then just barely not get away with it. You'd get so lucky and then you'd like fuck it up out of hubris. You know what I mean? Like you'd pull like a Walter White where it's like you just can't not get caught. You know what I mean? And you're gonna leave your fucking poetry book. Yeah, you leave your fucking poetry book on the fucking toilet and get caught. What's your last text message? My last text message was to my psychiatrist asking her for to refill my prescription for my ADHD meds. I'm stupid. What's you look like the type of person to like a woman. You look like the type of person who likes sweaters and frogs. That's crazy. So what's the last text message you sent? Oh shoot. Oh, to my mom telling her that I got to school safe. No prob. Good luck. <laughs> I sent my husband morning kisses. That's so cute. I love that. So I just told my cousin because uh, because he he forces us to all do personality tests. And I and I said, oh, I got entertainer, and he was like, it was like, bro, you are such an entertainer that fits you perfectly. And I'm like, bro, you sound like all the girls when you, when you say you're a Sagittarius. I sent the rolling eyes emoji with the hand, like, ugh. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because I had to cross the massive crowd of people, uh, and, oh. and I was upset. I texted Emily and I said, you are so pretty. Hello. Last text I sent was to Sylvia. And it said, at one of the, well, technically I didn't send this, Melina sent this, but oh, okay. the last text off my phone okay. was at one of the long tables close to the window under the stairs. Wow. I texted Shoppy, I just woke up, because he <laughs> said, did the bus go already? <laughs> you look like the type of person that, like, if you were to meet a girl that you were attracted to, you'd go to your friends and be like, so, there's this girl. <laughs> What's the last text message you sent? Um, I sent my sister the events that altered my brain chemistry. <laughs> um, you look like the type of woman to cry to Phoebe Bridgers. Kelly, the the down here message, the texto, que vous que tu as envoyé. Vocabulary. Manger ton veggies. A qui? Des enfants. Tu des enfants? <laughs> I don't understand. What's the last text message you sent? Oh. <laughs> what's, what's 
see in person. <laughs> Thank you. Kelly uh -huh. le dernier texto que tu as envoyé. Ayaki. Who is Bermuda, I think. <laughs> Who's Bermuda? Yeah. Who's Bermuda? <laughs> Start the fire. It was all since the world's been time. What's the last text message you sent? To my girlfriend, something about hanging out later, possibly. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Oh Christ. Okay, I gotta. <laughs> uh, why are you liking shit posts on LinkedIn? <laughs> that was to my father, to be clear. Voulez <laughs> vous? Uh huh. Take an hour, leave it. Uh huh. Now is all we get. Uh huh. Nothing promised, no regrets. Uh huh. <laughs> To everyone at home, I um, shared the Snoop Dogg affirmation song with my therapist. You should put it as the end credits. It's a really great song. Affirmations is a positive statement that help us and overcome. Feeling good? Come on, everyone. Yes. One better to be than myself. Yeah. You have to repeat it. Affirmations. A is going to be an amazing day. Okay. Uh, it's going to be an amazing day. My feelings matter. My feelings matter. Get better every single day. Get better every single day. Affirmations is a positive statement to help us and overcome. Feeling good? Come on, everyone. One better to be than myself. Yeah. Get to repeat it. Affirmations. A is going to be an amazing day. Uh, it's going to be an amazing day. My feelings matter. My feelings matter. Get better every single day. Get better every single day.